Hold on, guys. Give me one second. There we go. Should be popping up now. Welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing today? Click there. There we go. So we're on a different character. We're on a different character today. I thought we would fly around with the Ferox, a different a different character that I have has a different class of battle cruiser, which I recently did some work on. station Paragon gift. So apparently we got a bunch of stuff. Thank you. I don't need the transmissions all the time. I don't want to assemble it right now. Just want to... I don't know. Stop it. I don't know why suddenly I'm getting all this attention with this. I just started rejoining with, um, reworking with this particular character here. A little while ago. Skill training completed. There we go. Oh, we got all the way out to shield emission systems too. Nice. Fine. Let's. I don't want to board it, but fine. We'll go through the pole. We're going to retrain you how to do this. Flex your flex vault. I, I don't like the the fact that like I can't just ignore the transmissions or stop it or move Vaughn. I have to let it go. I mean, I kind of played around with the New Eden store before, but. Oh, there it is. Hmm. 
must have come up with a recent update or something. Now that you have activated the license, the skin will always be available to you on that ship type, even if this ship is destroyed. That's good news. I hope it gives you solace next time your ship explodes. Stains. We all have questions, that's what separates us from Fidos. Good luck out there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I guess we got a free skin. Well, pretty much free skin out of it, so. Can I redeem the others? Are there other. No, that might have been a one time thing. Okay, well, let's switch back to the Ferrex. Close that out. We wanted to fly this thing. So we're going to do some exploration while we head out to do some other work here. Let me just double check. Okay. All kinds of different skins. Uh, looks like that's all set to go. a drone I think I did yeah I lost a drone that's okay for now at least probe scanner all right nothing in the area Hulk gang, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate you stopping by. Really appreciate the follow. Hope you enjoy your stay. I kind of like the Ferox. I like the Ferox's design and kind of just general layout. It's it's pretty good size for a battle cruiser.
think it reminds me of something from Halo. Check out this uh, combat site. Six kilometers. I need to figure out how I can increase my targeting range. Because right now my range is 86. I want to be able to start shooting at things that are like a hundred away. And that'd be like the far range, cause, oh, what am I missing? That was at one point to where these, maybe it was because I had like lead charges or something. I don't remember. There was one point to where my, um, one of the ammos that I had had a hundred and one kilometer reach and it was like I want to be able to shoot at things that are within the hundred kilometer range because like right now I'm only limited by My railgun's max of the fall-off range is 95. I want to be able to hit things that are... I want to be able to at least start locking onto things that are... around 90, I guess. So I, I don't know if it's like a skill that I need to do or a piece of equipment that I, I need to use. should be able to pull this to a stop. I'll just sit tight. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, it looks like that was it. Okay.
Let's take out that bunker. It's just blow it makes some other stuff blow up while we move. I turn the booster on. Missiles. Should have an optimal range. Gunnery? drive active.
Nope, nothing here. So we will move on to the next one. There's a hidden hideaway. We'll go within 70, fine. Even though I don't really want to. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. Launch drones. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> we're doing pretty good. I thought we were going to be in trouble. We've got a lot of destroyers. Oh, is he right on the edge? He's kind of right on the edge, isn't he? Let them reload and finish off these destroyers. Oh, there's somebody else in this area, too. All right, I'll take it. Do that, split my buy and conquer. Send the drones out. Fire there. Oh, he's 
Drones are already out there too. just outside of that range. They both are. Alright, that's fine. Redirect the, tur the drones. Target them. Have him target them. Sky. These cruisers are running away from me. A module has run out of charge. got a fair deal of stuff. Well, there's some more off in the distance. Let's see if I can lock onto one of them. Shoot, that's not what I wanted. No! One in there. Hey, Das Panzer, this stream's doing pretty good. So far. It's 
Whoops. Here, I can use the tractor beam on that. Metal scrap, I'll take some scrap. You're gonna lurk for a bit and check back. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much for stopping by. guys now okay he's way over there I need to get close enough so I can use my tractor beam. I don't have a portable tractor unit here. Not bad though, there's... There's at least uh, one other guy. He's got stuff to tractor and looks like he's got like salvage drones and stuff. Nice. He's ready to get looted. Okay, not bad. Let's stack everything nice and neatly real quick. Okay, then we can take that on target. Kind of a slow part, but there's a lot of loot to be had, so... Hey, Morton! Yeah, I, um, I have a Ferox, so uh, this is on a different character, but... Yeah, I, um, this particular character has, has a Ferox, and... Um... I kind of played around with getting... I kind of played around with he with um with the ferox with uh, going like a kind of a shield tank so i did some research and kind of grabbed some 
items similarly based off of the based off of the build that we did for the hurricane just i did one that focused more on increasing shields and shield boosters and stuff like that uh and so far haven't bumped into any trouble then again i haven't necessarily put it through a huge like deep test um Oh, I got two sets of uh, exotic dancers. Male set and female set. Not bad. Uh, yeah, and there ended up being somebody else in this particular area, but... So far, seemed to... Um, I was taking a lot... I was taking a lot of fire for a while. Then somebody else stopped by and cleaned up the last of the cruisers pretty well oh i might have gotten that la i think i got that last one then i'd recommend exchange the shield extender for more resist usually you want either active shield booster or passive shield extender tank mixing isn't considered optimal exotic dance is very nice those are expensive Yeah, I know that there's a lot of memes about them. I'm getting a lot of just other miscellaneous parts here. I've got a um, energy neur neural neutralizer and a energy something else, but it has a skull on it. So I don't know what that means. I imagine it means bad, bad things. tractor him or is he he's just outside of range okay we will get closer and then we will change directions and go this way kill two birds with one stone nearly expensive because of the memes but i customer is a customer the skull means it can be illegal in certain sections of empire space such as slaves and minmatar systems oh okay so get rid of it quickly is what you're saying i can take that unlock that one and we'll just head towards that one So there's either extender tanks or um, booster tanks then? Because I figured I can use the shield because the shield extender is all passive and everything. I can just use the shield extender and then if I start losing enough shields then I can just switch to the shield booster. Not necessarily, but if unsure, get rid of it. It says in the info tab where it's illegal. That's part of the icon for the module. Oh, it's a Nosferaru sucks capacitor. So this skull is just that's just part of the icon. It does it's not actually illegal thing. Because I was looking at it, and I was like, well, I know what the I know what the energy neutralizer is. Oh, okay. Well, that could be useful. N Nosferatu? Is that what that is? Nosferatu? I... That's the first time I've heard of it. Or specifically that word. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Pick 
this up. Heavy missile, some iridium charges, and a concussion bomb. Correct. Illegal stuff has a small skull in the corner, like when you find a faction item that is a green... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to know. Is there anything else for me to go after around here? No? Okay. Drive active. And we're gonna leave. Drones in bay. Good, good. We're all packed up. I also grabbed a remote shield. I grabbed a remote shield booster because I was originally gonna do gonna uh, fly around with a buddy of mine who recently started the game, and he was flying around in a uh, in a Merlin frigate. And so I figured if he stuck around. Um, near me within range or whatever I can throw the I can throw away the tractor beam or put the tractor beam away and then use the remote shield booster and help assist him kind of use it to have some support abilities so what should I have like should I just have like two shield extenders then or or just the get rid of the or something like that. If I was to do, if I was to do more passive. Just in theory, I'm just thinking things out loud here. I'd say yes. So it's either it's usually either um, more shields or uh, resistance and and a booster then. Is that what, that's typically what the two builds are. I'm guessing that's a that's a capacitor efficiency thing. Nothing in this sector. I'm gonna keep going. I have things to sell anyway. Passive tank would rely on your total HP and shield regen to keep you alive. Uh, generally preferred when incoming DPS is, is high, or cap is, is used as okay. Shield regen is affected by your total shield HP, so the more you get, the better it gets. As for boosters, an active tank... Oh, okay, so you actually get a general... Okay, so they're actually pretty nice and give you a boost to where if if you have more shields your more of your shields will regen boosters eat a lot of capacitor but regenerate loads of shield with no need for other modules works great in combination with high resists oh see i also had this like shield boost amplifier thing that i found let me stop some way five Shield boost amp makes your shield booster boost more. Right. I did notice you had it equipped. Yeah, so that's why I was like, you know, okay, if they start bringing my shields down more, I can just turn the shield booster on and then just fill my shields back up. But... We'll have to see. We, we, we will have to see. I, so you might have an you might have an idea on this, Morton, or at least on on a solution. So I have my targeting range on these thing on my hybrid railguns. The fall off range is ninety five kilometers, so I can snipe things from far away. 
Most PvE fits would either have a huge shield booster plus uh, to pulse once in a while or a smaller one just to keep on permanently. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, so I have like 95 kilometers. I think if I use like lead charges, I can go out to like 101 or something like that. So I can go over like over 100 kilometers. But my targeting range is stuck down to, is stuck down at, um, uh, you can get your targeting range, we can get your targeting range up. You need a sensor booster in a mid slot, or alternatively a rig. Okay, because I, I think I have one rig slot left. Um, or I might not, I might have all three of my rig slots. But yeah, I'd like to get the targeting range out there, so that way I can just, it, I can shoot things from wherever I am. Because right now, I'm, I, this build, I'm actually really, really excited about it. Because so far, it seems to be able to take on just about, and outrange just about everything, and be able to keep those things at range, for the most part. If they get close, then my drones can help take care of them. I have been playing around with some antimatter charges, but they are pretty short range. So, well, I mean, not super short range. It's 42 kilometers, so it's pretty, pretty, f still a distance, but you know, it's something I'm playing with. Shield booster is an active mid slot, doesn't use much capacitor. Sensor booster is an active mid slot, doesn't use much capacitor though, which can be loaded with scripts to either increase targeting range or speed greatly. With no script, both get an advantage buff. I'd swap it for an extender, for the extender or the webifier. Okay, yeah, I can get rid of the web webifier. And see, now it's like 33, so now I can drop my my antimatter guns on the onto this cruiser here. My drones are already flying off. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Scripts are like ammo, but don't don't be confused. Yeah, that is a nice thing, isn't it? Hello, you, you. Orbit. Right now, the, the with the antimatter charges, it has 42 range, so it's okay. Alternatively, the rig you want is the ionic field projector, medium size for the barracks. And the I, ionic field projector would extend that targeting range. Because I was looking, I was looking to try to see if there was any skills that I could use for it. I didn't really see anything.
they're just starting to damage my shields. Through it gives a small penalty to total shield HP and thus those rigs should not be used on passive tanked fits. But should still be fine with your shield booster. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Thanks, thanks, Morton, for the info. I'll. That's definitely something I need to look into then. What? Oh, somebody else is targeting him. Okay. That's definitely something to consider. I like the idea of doing the passive tank. They're all far away. That's okay. I can let him try to fight it. Okay, you just get tractored. I'll approach that one. If I start getting in range of... of of them to where I can start targeting them, then I'll do that. Open. Loot. Disconnect. He ran away, didn't he? No, he's just out of range. What are you looking at? Okay, I can start taking shots. I think I can only take one in, though. Oh, I can take both of them.
Yeah, he was doing some kind of weird firework thing. Oh, well, I got some more loot. Okay, so I will keep a, I will approach this one. While this one we open, take the scrap. Disconnect. Make sure I'm not targeting the destroyer who is right there. Just locking on and then IDing my loot. Bunch really, really low. So let's start heading towards this one. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. I get it? No, I can get it. Recall my drones. What's he doing? Looks like he's watching me. Connect. He leave? Yeah, he just left the area. Oh, it looks like he lo he did all his looting and stuff. Let's grab Orium charges, disconnect you, 
Hey, Dallas Panzer. Yes, I'm still here. Someone was in there. Usually people don't warp into your mission site. Except try to bait you to attack them. I don't know what he was doing. He, he started taking on some of the other stuff. He was in a destroyer, so... He was able to get to some ships before I could. Okay, looks like I can just stop and pick up everything else from here. So let's detach that and start pulling him while I open him up. I got a lot of scrap metal from these. That's okay. Uh, just some weirdo then. Yeah, it's, yeah, and then... Hey, Das Panzer, thank you for the 10 bits. Really appreciate it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, So he sat around. He kind of flew near me and then kind of sat there for a bit as I, I passed him or whatever. And then he, then he warped out and he had collected all of his loot, so. Um, okay, that was done. So I don't need that one, him. Tractor that one. Open that one. And then we will untarget that one. Gutierrez Copper Tag. All right. Untarget that. Drones are packed up. Oh, there's a new hideaway. Warp drive active. Oh, you're doing anomalies. Makes sense that another player was there. It's not your personal mission. Yeah, no, it's not my personal mission. Yeah, see, there's another... There's two guys there, too. They must be squatted up or something. Or they're just fighting it out. I'm not gonna be mean. I'm gonna leave and go to a different sector. Warp drive active. Maybe the nicer thing to do. Yeah, no, it's it, yeah, it's an it's anomalies. It's it's com it's combat sites and stuff. I kind of got a little addicted to to doing combat sites. And I really like doing them with the um with the Ferox here. Mostly because, like, I can really outrange everything. So what I've mostly been doing is I'm going to pick up a... Um, a skill point injection that I can then use to help with my skill training here. I was trying to see if I could find anything in the skills area that would actually help with um, targeting range. Oh, there's targeting. 
but I think I maxed out everything. The only other thing is, yeah, because long range targeting. Yeah, that one's maxed out for alpha accounts. Um, signature analysis is just improved targeting speed, which will help. Target management increases the number of targets I can have. Oh, they're up there. Definitely go with the rig or sensor booster, I'd say. It'll give you quite a bit. Yeah, um... I might do the sensor booster, because I guess if I'm keeping him mostly far away from me... Um, and if I'm able to warp in within, you know, 100 kilometers from them it's gonna take them a while to get to me so most targets probably would just end up going down pretty quick and so i probably won't need to have the web of fire on no it's a civilian one anyway This is nice. Feels like I have my own little mini fleet with uh, with the the drones and stuff. Civilian modules are quite weak anyway. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. I thought I grabbed a, a different one, but I might have had the web of fire on there previously. Or it might have just been what I had. So. And that's it. Let's just target this thing and fly towards one of these. The shield extender could be switched for the largest battery you have room for, get more cycles from the booster, or even getting, get it running stable. Hmm. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. I'm just gonna break those shields down. Send the drones in just because.
The orange shield resist module you've got doesn't uh, doesn't use much capacitor. That's that's one of those that should be generally be on always. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> Oh man, my head words. I'm gonna lay down for a bit. Good luck with the sights. Thank you very much, Morton. Thank you for the thank you for the insight. I will I'll have to look into that. So, thank you very much. You hope you feel better. Lay down. Rest well. Almost got that forward outpost down. I was hoping to see if there was any cargo that could be picked up from the observation post. That wasn't the case. Let's turn this on. Let's detach that. Let's warp to within a hundred. Warp drive active. I just want to see what these bar what these burrows are all about. Launch the drones. These guys are... I mean, they see me. Bunkers. Lots of bunkers. Let's reload all.
do a full stop. Taking hostile action. They're all a long ways away from me. Six, right. Hopefully we can bring that up to like something closer to like a hundred. I'll take ninety even at that point. Ducky, how's it going? Uh, doing pretty good. We are playing around with a Ferox on a different character that I have. And being a long range artillery shield tank. Uh, with a targeting range that is far short, that is shorter than my actual gun range. So we're going to be fixing that here. Um, shortly, but we're also doing some combat, um, some combat encounters. Um, just as we move to get, uh, some skill points and some other stuff. So, yeah, so far. Far it's okay. I've got to let them get within 86 kilometers before I can actually fire. But I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna get a uh, some other boosters here. Some like a sensor booster and stuff like that. To help with that range. Let's get that range up. Oh, crack them down. Oh, finally. Yep, we're shield tanking. And we're doing some long ranged combat. We had taken on a larger hideout earlier, and we managed to actually take care of them pretty well. Somebody else 
came in and started uh, stealing some of our some of my plunder. So there was that. But I think it worked out. What are you up to? Uh, what are you up to, Ducky? Where did you start lurking? They're all far away. I'll see if the bunkers have anything. I doubt it. Most of the bunkers don't. Already, I have a decent range, so... Like, it's not terrible. I just want a... bigger one. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. They just want to have a longer targeting range, so hit things out from further out. That makes sense, right? Build tanky and then just be long ranged artillery fire. Oh, there is a cargo container on that one. Should be able to get a targeting computer upgrade too. All right, let's dock the drones. Oh, that was quite the explosion. Quite a nice one, too. Once that one's in range, I can start tractoring it. It's 
almost there. He should pretty he should hit the twenty here in just a second. Twenty-one. Wait a little bit longer so we make sure he's in the twenty. There he's being tractored. We'll switch over to approach this guy and then we can swoop around to get the other guy. Scoped tracking computer. Probably could use a tracking computer to be honest. I just we need a larger one. Yeah, he's gonna be moving further away. Okay. Use the booster for a bit. I think this is a medium booster. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a um, there's a speed enhancement that I could use. Once he's in 20, a little bit longer. That should finish that. Got a lot of stuff that I could probably sell.
here soon. Carbide railgun. All right. Let's go to this other barrel. Let's go within seventy. Warp drive active. Oh, I want that. Since the other, since that one barrel wasn't very bad, so. Okay, this one has more. Just lock Targa on everybody. Drones. Just keep shooting until they don't exist anymore. I told you to fire. Okay, they got some further away, guys, so... Start heading towards these guys. They're still up above them. They should be a good distance away. We're not gonna activate the booster right now. Be a bit slower. that for now. I think I better do a full stop. Well, 
Well, that worked great. And now time to collect. You guys can return to bay. Okay, I should reload all of these guys while we're waiting.
tractors going. Tractor beams. Compact Explosive Shield Hardener. Not bad. Though it's not really a item that I would be going for, or that I would go for. Last Salvage. I'm going to be getting a lot of materials from these. Web drive active. Next jump. A buddy of mine who started playing this, he started streaming it as well and doing like uh, stuff with um, Kaldari. He and I were talking. He wanted to do a, a missile boat um, ship, and there, there's a there's a there's a uh, destroyer that can do that. And so we had a conversation about about that. We were talking about that. And how... And so, I, I'm... Let's see. It was a Korax. Because a Korax is designed to be a missile ship. It specializes in light missiles and rockets. So... Um, as kind of a starter. And then, of course, you can get into one of the other... Uh, missile boats and stuff like that with the cruisers and things like that so I'm debating I'm kind of wondering what that type of missile build should should be like because a missile missile boat is gonna be longer range right it's not gonna be necessarily uh, a close range fighter or brawler type of thing Turrets. Uh, I 
won't launch drones just yet. They're in a cruiser. They're an Osprey, Navy Osprey. Slowing him down, or is he shooting at him too? I can't tell. Oh, would you look at that? I want that destroyer. Oh, okay, he's gone. Oh, okay, I must be getting all of them. I don't know what he's doing then. aware of the missile battery for now. Actually, I should put the missile battery down here and these guys up here. has run out of charges. Okay, so they are picking up stuff now. Oh wow, they just sent a bunch of drones out. I guess that one was mine. Oh, and they took out that thing. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. I should start making my way down there, I guess. Yep. Oh well. 
Fair enough, I guess. Oh, another person showed up in a destroyer. That's probably what was going on. Oh, well. Alright, is that a destroyer? No, that's a battle cruiser. That's the same thing that I am. Oh, and they just left. One thing that I think that might improve things a little bit is with the lighter backgrounds, like the nebulas and stuff, it might be beneficial to either darken the text a little bit, so that way it's, uh, so that way, in essence, it stands out more, or um, put in like a more square um, background like with these and and have it be um, have it adjust in its have it be pretty versatile in how opaque it is that way you can see the text easier stuff like that because distance and everything is kind of important That guy's got to be a um, Omega player. He had like five or six drones. Or a ship was specifically a drone ship. Which that's possible as well. A module has run out of charges. Oh, shoot. I destroyed what I was trying to pull in. No, that was pointed the right way. I'm confused. A module has run out of charges. All right, either way. Oh yeah, you know what? I did I, that I did accidentally blow up the uh, the salvage I was going after. How did you abandon it? Oh well. Some rockets. So I, I told him some of the skills that he that he would probably be needing. That my buddy would probably be needing. I'm just trying to think about if would it be a a good gift to like make him kind of a custom built destroyer like would that be a good idea
the car go. Uh, I can target that thing. Just for some fun. Well, that's a sensor booster right there. I mean, it's a small one, so... It would not quite be exactly what I'd be looking for. weapons, heavy missiles, sensor linking. I might need a sensor. I might need the sensor linking skill. Oh wow, that's like <laughs> completely gold. Kind of like the state police skin, I'm not going to lie. There's the vital shift. EGO, very red and black. Not a bad skin. There's that one. Another remote sensor booster, sensor linking. Okay, nothing else. Drones are put away. Let's take a look at skills here. Scanning social structure subsystems. Nope. Navigation. Acceleration control. Base of maneuvering after burner. High speed maneuvering. Navigation. Much fun as it would be, I think we're gonna move to make the next couple of jumps here. Cause I need to look up what that's where that skill is located. All these guys. Electronic systems. Electronic warfare, propulsion jamming, sensor linking. Skill at using remote sensor booster dampener, less capacitor need. Remote sensor boosters. What's, what's the difference here? Uh, 
Oh, okay, because it's remote, so therefore... Okay, interesting. That's interesting. Give your allies a buff to your to their sensor range. So you can have a ship that is built as a support ship. Like, it has some weaponry, but its primary job would be things like I'm gonna boost uh, ships targeting range I'm gonna boost their capacitor I'm going to boost um, shields or help repair armor or uh, you know I'll use this um, I use the the, ener the energy stealer this thing to steal capacitor power from from them, whatever it is. So that's interesting. Let's do a couple of things. One, we've got this, this iridium, antimatter, these small charges, missiles, this other stuff. Oh, remote tracking computer, yeah. Move that all into the item hangar, we can organize it later. Uh, just organize it for me. Let's activate it. one of these. Let's stack everything appropriately. See, I think it was lead that I used. Oh yeah, no, I use lead a lot because it's neutral. Is it the iron that's the longer? Yeah, iron has a massive range bonus. Let's just reprocess all this. So I can use that later. Market details. Uh, sell this item. Three months. thousand yeah market details sell
hundred thousand. Pop. Ooh. Yeah, let's sell that thing. Probably for... Do the sixteen thousand. A bunch of mining lasers, a bunch of other stuff. Do this. We'll do thirty-seven. Now, we'll do we'll do twenty thousand here. Market detail. One point four million. Somebody's trying to sell these for eight million. I'll do I'll do one point four. All right, in the meantime, let's look up, uh, what was it? It was Ace. Sensor Booster. Sensor Booster. Let me check my fittings here real quick. Okay. So let me remove that. I'm going to keep what I currently have for the moment. Just because I like having like the the passive shield extender, 
but if anything, I could possibly get rid of the extra shield booster and extend it out and then keep this shield amp this shield boost amplifier for if I need to support a um, a friend or a fleet or something. Okay, so first there was that, and then there was... Get more cycles for the booster, yeah. Savior! Wow, thank you very much for the raid of eight. Hello, Mike. How are you doing? Eight man raiding party. That is amazing. Uh, we are. Give me one second, guys. Uh, Ionic field projector. Medium ionic field projector. Ouch, a mill. Info. Ah, oh, drop action. Penalty. Using more than one of this type of ship. Type of module. Oh, okay. Increase a ship's targeting range at the expense of shields. What's the expense? 10%? Targeting range bonus, 25. That's pretty good. Drawbacks can be, of this rig can be reduced by training the electronic superiority rigging skill. Hey, it's Peanut. How you doing? Timber, welcome aboard. How are you doing? How was your guys' stream? I saw you were doing, um, what was it, No Man's Sky? It's Peanut. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, you dropping by. It's good. I'm just chilling. Hey, that's a huge part of it, right? That's part of the adventure. No Man's Sky was fun. I'm, I'm glad you had fun with that. Probably going to go to bed as well. All right, well, sleep up. Oh, I can get that. That should actually help quite a lot. Okay, so I've got some some skills to... Uh, let's see. Well, I don't need the... Do I need the sense? I didn't check. Do I need the sensor linking skill for the no, not scanner uh, for the booster info. Some targeting range bonus 25%. Okay. Scan resolution bonus 25%. Okay. Thing. Mm hmm. Requirements. So that's all covered. Okay. So let's pick up. Yep. It's expensive. I know. All right, well, Timber, have a good night's sleep. Rest well. I will talk with you another time. We'll have to catch up and do and do some uh, do some games a bit here here and there. Um, I'd really like to to group up and do some stuff. So let's see here. 
sensor booster. Ionic field projector. Ionic. Ionic field projector, medium. There's one on the station. It's actually pretty good. Info. This gets boosted by this skill. It's under rigging. Check out, whoops, wrong button. Go here, go to rigging, which I haven't played with at all. Shield rigging, advanced understanding of shield systems allows to make shift modifications to shield systems for the use of rigs. Electronic superiority, advanced understanding of electronic systems allows makeshift modifications to targeting, scanning ACM systems, 10% reduction to electronic superiority rig drawbacks. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna need to get uh, shield upgrades. What do those do again? Power grid needs, okay. Shield management, regulating a s spaceships, shield systems. Okay, so let's do that one. We have to put all three of the jury riggings in there. We have to put that there. Das Panzer, thank you for the 10 bits. Really appreciate it. Let's throw tactical shield manipulation and shield upgrades. Hold on. Skill at preventing damage from penetrating shields, including using shield hardeners. Uh, okay, let's move this to here and this here in fact we'll drop all these down well in fact we'll drop all these down here I've got a lot of shield stuff but if I do this this should be able to help me handle most of it in fact I might be able to get all three all of those done Bringing one, two, ooh, not, oh, huge jump. Helps if you know how to, if you organize things a little bit better. And into navigation four. Nice. Let's take that. Skill training completed. Nice. 14 skills done in the snap of a finger. Thanks to a skill point injection. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now... Sure, let's pick it up. Medium ionic field projector. Go ahead. What's the current? Drawback is minus eight. That is much better. Let's go back to skills real quick. Let's finish that one. Put that one in there. So that one should bring it down by another let's see they brought it down by two ticks of that two levels of that brought it down from 10% down to 8% so that's roughly 2% each so one more should bring it down to 7% minus I can live with that and then get these other shield upgrades and that should
Yeah, plus I add like shield management and stuff. And that should actually balance that out pretty well. Shield compensation. Let's get that just in case for if we need to do anything fancy or if we need to do anything later. We can get more skill points installed. Okay, all of that is looking pretty good to me right now. with a medium field projector. Yes, I get, I still, I lose some shields, so I will have less shields than I normally would, but considering that I'm using a shield extender, that will actually, I think will do okay. I, I think it'll be okay. Pretty sure. All right, let's go pick up because I want to... I want to see how long of a range I can give my... my directional tracking enhancer. Right, that needs the drone sharpshooting and everything. Oh, whatever. Fine. It's this one. There he is. Okay. Set destination. Okay, it's all in safe areas. Good, good, good. Let's undock. Then we will head out. There's a hideaway right there. I don't want to do it right now. I'm not going to do any of those right now until I have the other ship. Until I have the other... Until I have the other sensor booster in there. Because once I have that other sensor booster in there... Then I can go ahead and see, uh, I want to see it, how the, uh, I want to see exactly like what happens if I have both of them up and running and how long a range do I have. I might have, to, it might have to be like, hey, you have to do one or the other. And if that case, if that's the case, you know. Uh, I might have to get rid of the rig, which will be a lost, lost funds on my part. Um, because when you, you, when you remove a rig, uh, it destroys the rig in the process. It doesn't destroy the ship, it just destroys the, the module. I guess it's like because of how it's mounted onto the ship or something.
make another jump. And then well, then we'll come back around and we'll, tar we'll test out the ship. See what my targeting range is. Because if my, if my targeting range is, like, far enough, then... You know, we can then start experimenting with some other... Uh, with some other things. We can hopefully get some longer range firepower and stuff like that all set up. One more jump. Okay, let's dock. Inventory, fitting, hanger, sensor booster, targeting. Okay, now my targeting range. Shield hit points is 6,400. That's pretty good. Even with that, even with the medium I ionic field projector, that's fine. 107. Eight maximum lock targets. Okay, this is going to be good. 35 kilometer range. That's going to be getting fixed here soon. Uh, well, as I get like drone navigation and stuff like that set up, and that should do better. Um, maximum targeting range 107. Almost 108, that's pretty good. If I... If 
I take this off? Hmm? Insufficient op optional charges. Oh, right. So if it's active, without a, a, a script in there, okay, with the script in there, I won't be able to tell what the range is yet until I have it active, because it's an active bit, it's not a passive bit. This thing's passive, this thing's active. Okay, okay. Then it will just be... Then it will just be up to... Hybrid... Medium... Yeah, I need a good range bonus. <coughs> Iron is the 60%. That's what's pushing it into the 95 and higher. Twenty percent but higher damage. Zero. Lead is just the standard. Turning the 37, thorium 12, tungsten 40, uranium 25. Okay. I think I already looked at the iridium. Iridium's a 20. Antimatter is, of course, the lowest, but does the highest damage. Okay, so right now that's going to be where that's going to sit. I should have something that should increase the range of that in my skills. prediction improved ability at hitting moving targets that's already pretty good rapid fire skillet rapid discharge of weapon rate of fire controlled bursts small hybrid surgical strike trajectory analysis That's fine for now. All right, what do you say we get some, we test out this new combat range. I swear at one point I had like a, I could shoot out to like 101 or something like that. All right. Dr. 
drive active. At least now I should be able to take full advantage of of my railguns. Um, technically, I could probably get some better railguns that would probably give me a f longer range. I'm gonna have to look into that. It's, it's not a, it wasn't a too bad it took out like the took out the 80 something They see me, we have a target lock. I just have to wait to get them within a hundred. Anything lower than Oh right, one oh seven is the tar is the lock range. My weapons just need them within ninety five. Oh, that's so good. To take full advantage of that. Hey, Shorty, it has been a while. How are you doing? Good. Haven't been on and haven't been streaming in weeks. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good. To, it's good to hear from you. We are just experimenting with being a very long range. Oh, I haven't even used this thing yet. I'm just sitting. I was just sitting at a hundred and seven and happy with it. Devil hasn't taken me yet. I mean, that's good. Yeah, we're just experimenting with being a very tanky fortress with very big guns. Oh my, I'm hitting, I'm able to target stuff that's out 120 plus kilometers with this guy active. Does he boost these guys? He does not. There's there's another thing. Um, there's a tracking computer. I need to I, I need to install here, which should enhance my range. If I do make it long range, it should really push that um, that range out, and that should push it out to about the one. Um, to about the, the, the 120 mark. Wait, why am I having him shoot at that yet, right? I'm... He tried and failed. Oh, really? Hmm. That doesn't sound so good. those guns this thing ain't even isn't uh, even a battleship yet 
Oh, once they were in range, they were gone. Reload all. Alright. Sure, claim that and sent to the home base. Ah, okay. Ah, right, okay. I got COVID, so I've been sleeping for the past week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you're doing better. COVID is not, not a fun experience. Um, ninety-five, nice. Ninety-five isn't, isn't necessarily something bad to snuff at. I just don't want to. I just want to keep pushing that range as far as I can for shooting and for targeting. I mean, the targeting seems to be. Seems to be at like a one, probably 130 now. I don't know. Can I tell? Yeah, 131. With this at with this thing active, not having any specialty or anything. Um, I'm at 131, so that's pretty good. Emotional damage. Yes, yes, absolutely emotional damage. Um. gonna pull my drones back I didn't even need my drones for that yeah no COVID is is emotional damage it is it is just emotional damage pure and simple it is the definition of emotional damage build like a beast <laughs> bill I would almost more say like built like uh, a mobile fortress so anything that is within range, ba basically anything that's within range, I get to tell them this. No game for you. I get to tell them no game for you every time. Uh, I also get to uh, to uh, drop the hammer, something like this. Drop the hammer. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, so. Like, I started playing around with kind of building this on my own, and I kind of started... I kind of was building him, like, a a shield tank, so he has high resistances, high upper-end shields. And so his shields were pretty hard, to, pretty hard to break. I haven't bumped into an issue really yet. But I also have a shield booster just in case and an upgrade for the shield booster. But I've been told that that's not necessarily best practice, so I'm I'm considering some other options. <laughs> yet, yet is the key word. You are absolutely right. Um, the other thing is, um, let me see. Oh, okay. There are many six targets. As many as you can have. I thought I could manage more. Oh, maybe I don't have the skill for managing more. That's okay. Anyway, um, so the the last thing is is just making him mate is upgrading it to where I have a decent balance of. I've missed talking to you. You always give me motivation to stream. Hey, I'm I'm glad. 
I'm, I'm glad that I can that I can help in that aspect. Um, we have so the idea that I want to do is I want to try to go for flying fortress, like unbreakable, relatively unbreakable fortress. I know that everything can be overwhelmed by even sheer numbers, but the idea would be to get the weapon systems. So far, I, I now have them able to lock out pretty to lock out on targets pretty far. So the next thing would be being able to get the weapons to actually shoot out very far um, and hit and hit and, and hit enemies, NPCs, and anything that I need to target um, as far away out as possible. Uh, and be able to, you know, handle them. Be able to handle them at a decent distance. You know, break through their their lines, their barriers, their defenses. Um, and do the long range thing. As well as, of course, being very, very tanky and just kind of sit there and make things explode from a very far distance away. So that's kind of the that's kind of the idea, but also also having the ability to support uh, if I'm with a fleet or if, if I'm with a team, if I'm with a group, I can use the ship and also not only provide heavy artillery firepower from a wonderfully long range but also provide um, support to my allies through a remote shield booster or something like that. And that's kind of the idea that we're look that I'm that I'm looking at right now doing for this particular for this particular build. It's like it can it can do the solo the solo hunter thing, not necessarily PVP solo hunter thing, but it can do um, it's fair amount of, of solo hunting, at least PVE stuff and handle itself being, you know, a stronghold fortress thing, but also having that, that range to where it's, it's just, you know, good luck, good luck getting close. And even if you get close, then I have my drones and my other forms of fire, of my other weaponry, which, which would then be able to target those uh, hostiles specifically. So yeah, that's that's the idea there. Now I like the idea of the build so far. I guess it is a little un unconventional because I am using a shield booster on a more passive. Um, passive shield route and I did just add um, two <laughs> uh, two different pieces of equipment to increase my um, my targeting range so I can hit stuff that's at a hundred plus or at least I can lock onto stuff at a hundred plus kilometers out Uh, but, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Okay. Uh, what else? Is there anything else that's nearby? I guess it's just... Approach him for now. Unless... No, they're just way over there. There's a bunch that's way over there, so I need to go head that way here in a second. After I collect everything else that's out over here. I mean, so far, it, it seems to be, have done pretty well, so... Pleased about that.
Oh, I might just get close enough to where I don't need to actually move. Or I don't need to move towards them and I can just keep grabbing stuff. Here, we'll get a little closer. Open. You disconnect. All right, that should work. Tractor beam. We're just targetable around here. Bunkers. Okay. Three, four. Give them all the barrels. All three barrels. In fact, we'll send the drones out to help. There's a cargo t container. Nice. Uh, did I open that one already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Disconnect that one. Looks like there was a cargo container there, too. Might take a second. Just outside that range, isn't it? That one's not. get what I get what I can from everything nothing to be honest I don't think I'm gonna get a whole lot at least a whole lot of rare stuff because there wasn't a whole lot of waves on these uh, particular areas and your range is 42 so Just start heading towards the sure. Actually, head towards that guy. Uh, you. Tractor range. Just to make it simple. New cargo container? Nope. Where's that thing? When did I miss that? Eh. Alright, we'll just stop over here. Full stop, start collecting stuff. Open loot. 
This guy unlock. This guy tractor. All right, we can we can uh, recall these drones. Little support craft. Hey, Das Panzer, thank you for the drink water. I will do that here in just a moment. reload all of our all of our guns that way we are ready for anything or scrap metal that's good in some cases uh, unlock target I probably would be making more if I used a salvager instead and if I did a similar build that I have on the hurricane All right. Okay, water achieved, water accomplished.
And we are back. How's it going, everybody? All right, so let me, okay, that's what I was thinking about. Not in assets, maybe. Hold on. There it is. Okay, I have a tracking computer that I can install now. So we're going to head out and do that. Well, we will pick up some some combat encounters along the way. Not in this area. This area seems to be a training area, so... So I've got a question for everybody, everybody who is watching or listening right now. Should we experiment with doing some PvP in EVE Online? Should we experiment with doing that? Because if we, if if yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna create. I would need to create a different, a separate character. But if we did that. Uh, I would create a separate character, and uh, you know what? I will take. Uh, we we can discuss it like on a stream, uh, maybe to figure out like how we want it, what, uh, what faction we wanted the character a part of. I know technically the factions are not as important. Stop it. I can stop it. I know technically the factions aren't technic or I know technically the factions aren't as important um, as you would as they would be in other RPGs. Um, but just in general, like it how we want to start. because uh, currently I have a Minmatar character and a Kaldari character. So we have one more I have one more character slot available. That we could do a, a PvP character. We could do a um what are the other factions here? We could do a Galante or an Amar character and have them their thing is PvP. Like that is what they do. And if that's the case, would people want to... Would you, would you guys want to see that? Want to kind of see that uh, that experience kind of play through? Let me launch my drones here, just in case. I doubt it's going to get that big because most of these areas seem to only produce uh, frigates. Maybe the occasional destroyer. But as we travel further out, I'm sure we'll get some more uh, heavier stuff for us to fight. That will really push the limits of our testing and what we can do with our... With our uh, with our build here. Part of what I like to do is I like to experiment with uh, with the different builds. So long as I have the ISK for it, right? Then I can do the different builds and... You know, try them out for different things, whatever. Those are just at the edge. I'll just... Okay. Got their attention real quick.
Now let's take a look here. Well, okay, looks like that was it. Not bad, about three or four waves, including the first one. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I bet that's how you deal with the target jam with the targeting jammers as well. Hmm. The more you know. Okay, I'm just gonna recall these guys. I don't. I, I know I didn't actually need the drones. But I think it's part of the experience deploying, putting the drones away. So these are in that area over there. Here, we'll approach this one. It will require us to turn a little bit, but we should be able to get him tractored in. Reload. Oh, there's another burrow that just started up. That's okay. I think we'll pack up, we'll, we'll grab everything here and then we'll move on to the next area. Okay. Open that up. Grab that. Unlock that. Change tractor and change directions. A mobile tractor unit would speed that up a lot. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I just don't want to... Because a mobile tractor unit will take up, like, three cubic meters uh, or a hundred cubic meters of space. And so... I don't know. I'm debating if I should actually use a track, the mobile tractor unit or not. Because, you know, I'm might want to save space because I used a mobile tractor unit on the on my hurricane and it works great it's fantastic I love it because then I can also use I can salvage the stuff as well which works out great but then my cargo hold fills up incredibly quickly um, especially when I start getting into and when I start getting some of the more valuable loot items, right? So that's kind of my concern a little bit. Now, maybe I, I might, you know, it might be one of those things where it's like, oh, okay, you can expand your cargo holds. That would help with that. And I could probably do that.
And what you lose in space would make up for the time it takes. I guess, but I'm just like, I would just be like trying to like minimize uh, trips, right? Because I don't want to lose the tractor unit. But I also don't want to lose the the loot that's there. Yeah, hmm, you do make a fair point. Because then I would spend more time doing combat stuff and less time running around doing this. I will be. I I will work towards a um, getting a mobile tractor unit. I don't necessarily need a salvager, although I do know that the salvager would give me. Would help, in, credit farming. For these but I'm gonna Uh oh. I don't know what I did. I separated my... I separated my, uh... camera from my from my ship hold on Okay. I think I fixed it. But oh Rivera, thank you for the thank you for the input and the insight. On that, let's move to another location. We might have to move a couple locations to be honest. That's new. It seems to be new. Here, 
let's take a look. Mobile tractor unit. Love drive active. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I'm gonna stop by a station real quick. Because I realize Overveer is right. Um, the mobile tractor unit would be more efficient uh, for collecting stuff because sometimes you can end up getting a lot of of kills and stuff like that and a lot of loot and so then it takes a lot if you are trying to move with a battle cruiser or another kind of heavy slow ship so give me a second we'll be right back here and we'll get this taken care of actually it shouldn't matter Yet. Not selling all of it. I'm just selling. Mm, that's too much, even. One, three, four. We'll do eight. All right. There we go. Fine, here we go. We'll buy one of these. Close that. Uh, nope. Mm. There. Nope. Not that one. No, it's around here somewhere. There it is. Set destination. The other thing we will do, real quick here, we will go to our fitting. I don't think I'm going to grab a salvager right now, but we will unfit this module. Repair quote, just to make sure. Okay, nothing to repair. That's fine. Um, market details. It's about three million. Let's 
three million, three and a half to four million. I'll just leave the tractor beam there for now. How about that? We'll just leave the tractor beam there for now. I might use it later or I might just go ahead and sell it. Now I have an empty high slot that I can use for really anything else. Okay. So let's undock and we'll continue on our way. Oh, there was a hideaway there. Oh, I sold something. Oh, well, let's get the mobile tractor unit and then we can resume our combat. Exploration and building and stuff like that. I could put a high, I could put a, um, I'm not gonna put the remote shield booster in right now. I think I'd only do that if I had an ally that I was working with. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Nope, okay. All right, well, we'll warp there and then we'll Good practice for other types of movement. This is in a hundred kilometers, they're not gonna do anything.
keep on going. Should be almost there. So anyway, I, I was asking earlier because I, I've thought about doing PvP stuff, but I don't want to do it with any of the current characters that I have. If I do, if I do PvP stuff, I'm gonna want to do it with um, a new character that I'm like specifically okay. I'm specifically uh, doing PvP stuff with this character. I might do some other stuff with the character just to get just to get money and income and stuff like that. But it would not be anything. Um, It wouldn't be anything over the top or um, anything like that. Like outside of normal PvP stuff, I'd be doing that. Plus, I'd be like, I would. That one would actually join a um, a faction That's as right. well, right? They would do more, um, they would be doing more of the PvP stuff with, uh, with a corporation and stuff like that. I, I couldn't really see myself trying to do solo PvP stuff. I tried that kind of once on stream, it didn't work out. But yeah, if I did, if I decide to do PvP, um, what faction do you guys think I should use or try out to do solo PvP? I have a Minmatar um, person. Um, that I'm currently, that I currently have, and I'm kind of, has been kind of the main my main streaming account. I have this one, which this is the debut for this particular um, character on stream. Outside of there was one time he showed up on a, on a buddy of mine's Eve stream, um, and we were doing um, we were doing security missions. I was helping him out with security missions. So there is that. But yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just thinking things, thinking things, thinking things out loud mostly, to be honest. Um, because there are, because, um, there's one more slot that we would have, um, that I could use. Um, because the Mimitar guy is, P, is more PVE industrialist. Um, this guy, I don't know. He's probably more PV, PVE at this point, um, but he does have some industrialist stuff that he can do. So, let me grab, before I forget, let me grab the tractor unit, put him in here. Let me pull this out and this out and this out. That can stay, that can stay. Hey, Das Panzer, thank you for the 10 bits. Really appreciate it. I'm just gonna sell all this. Did that or reprocess it. Doesn't give me much. I'm just gonna sell it. Sell items. All immediate. Yeah, that's fine. At least I get something out of it. But yeah, so if I did... If I did a third character, and that character was a dedicated PvE character, or a PvP character, should I do a... 
Gallant or an Amar character? Because I'll be honest, I like I like some of the Amar ships. I think they're very nice. Um, their Armageddon battleship is probably one of my favorite designs. I mean, they all have very, they all have very kind of unique, but also very good ship designs in general as well. Um, or we could go with a Gallant. And go from there. I typically would probably end up going with like a destroyer, so I'd probably end up doing the. Uh, let's get this bigger, please. Or not. Maybe the Algos? I don't know. Every turret is an attacker, armor, and drones. The catalyst kind of reminds me of a B-wing. But no, so like, I would probably end up using like a destroyer or maybe, maybe a cruiser. I think I think cruiser might be the the edge of of it with like the thorax or something um, I know a lot of people that do more PvE stuff probably end up using um, not necessarily frigates but they end up using um, more like Minmatar ships and stuff like that which is fine um, at most, I probably would end up working towards another battle cruiser, probably like the Talos. I like that ship design up quite well. Um, hey, Waffle Iron, how's it going? Anyway, it's just things that I am currently thinking about. Uh, if we do... Hey, that's good. If we end up choosing, um, anyway, guys, if we end up choosing to do uh, a PvP character, I'm kind of leaning towards the Gallant, but we could do an Amar as well. I'd be open. I'd be okay with that. Uh, I have a little bit of experience with them. With them, I've played Amar and Amar character before. Um. So I've had a little bit of experience with them, but not a ton. Anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts. Let me what let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna undock here. Alright. We're gonna test this out. There's a lot of spots here. Let's go to the hidden hideaway within a hundred kilometers. Active. Now I did want to get a, a the, the other tracking computer earlier. Because if I get the other tracking computer, then I can really push the range on my rail guns. And I can push that to probably about 130 something kilometers. Which would mean that I can lock on to I can lock on to most targets. Oh, that looks that looks like a bad, bad cloud. A lot of baddies. Alright, we should be able to handle it, right? I think. Guess we'll find out. All right, real quick before I forget. Well, if I'm win, uh, if I'm gonna win a hundred, cause that thing's range is like a hundred and fifty. I have to get closer to me anyway.
So I'm gonna go over here. Kind of get just barely in range. So I can take out the turret. I need to get 95. I'm going to also lock onto these guys. It should be getting there here pretty soon. Once I'm in range of the sentry gun, I will drop the tractor unit and then I will just sit there. Plus, it'll cover the whole area anyway, so. Almost there. I don't want to get too close or else things will get messy. Almost there. Ninety six. Ninety five, just a little bit longer. So it's just inside the bear just inside the range uh, launch Did I get their attention yet there they are should start getting their attention here pretty soon. Yep, there they are. They're starting to get active. They're still out of range, so it's okay. Okay, there's the hornet's nest. There was a cargo bay there. Okay, now there's this guy. Lock onto that one. Let's see how well this goes. So far, so good, I guess.
It's just focus fire. That's gonna help me, generally speaking. All right, just let it have it. This guy's going to need to get the antimatter charges. Once he hits 42. Send him after him, him after him. Because the whole idea would be keeping the smaller craft away from me, at least at the moment. You know, picking off their numbers and everything. Quite a lot of cruisers. All right, let's target okay, that one and that one. guys getting targeted right now. Alright, let's just fire all guns on one target. Drones too. Let's get them all in on there. There's, there's three that are way out there. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Those drones are gonna go nuts on him. Alright, you target that one. 
You target that one. Oh, a lot more came out. Alright, we're going to get some cruisers coming in here soon. They'll be really slow to get there, but... Oh, just pop that one out of the air. That one too? Okay. That one too. Alright, that thinned them out pretty well. And get these other two marked. I'll just send all the guns at it. And send them both barrels. Here comes some more. Ah, it might have been too much. There we go. That does it. So far, so good, actually. A module has run out of charges. Alright, we'll just open, we'll keep firing at that one cruiser for now, let these other cruisers get closer. Him, he's closer. Oh. 
all barrels. Never mind. Send him after this guy instead. Okay, now we're starting to get tagged. Not really doing a whole lot to us, though. That's good. and the drone's right over there. That has gone. Send the drones after him. Looks like that was the last, looks like that might be the last wave. Some nice shots in. Is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, recall the drones. All right, what have you picked up while I've been away? You've got a lot more stuff to pick up, so. What have you picked up so far? Stack it. Not bad. Heavy missiles. Assault missiles. Just gonna sit tight here for a second and let it finish grabbing wrecks and stuff My take a while since it's considering that it's grabbing a lot of things. Here, let's reload.
It's just slowly going down the line. I'm going to grab a new item here in a little bit once it gets past these three. Five hundred and fourteen isk from that bounty. That's pretty good. Well, it's either that or a sale. You can find out. Isk. Transactions. Yeah, there it is. Five hundred seventy-eight thousand isk. Here, let's target these habitation modules. Approach. Because they should have some good loot for us, too. Cluster shut down. Down for 15 minutes each day. Daily downtime will begin one in one hour. No, I better hurry then. Been pretty good so far. Been a pretty good stream. We've been learning a lot, adapting. Can still track what it's getting. Nice. I'm gonna still keep approaching because I maybe I'll grab those and save my um, tractor unit some time. Should I get a new skin for my, um, 
battle cruiser here, my Ferox battle cruiser. Maybe I should get a Ferox battle cruiser for my um, Minmatar character. Because I like the battle cruise. I like this battle cruiser and the shield. Um, the build that I have is actually pretty good. Okay. Here, we should be able to turn these off. So it's less of a drain on the capacitor. We're gonna get what's in these cargo containers and then we'll just be waiting for the tractor unit to finish grabbing its stuff and then we will find a place to dock for the evening. And then we'll probably call it a night because I think they're planning on doing a reset here pretty soon. Sidewinder! Wow, thank you so much for the raiding party of 13. Thank you so much for stopping by. No, no calling it a night. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Uh, hold on. I, I know, I'm stuck now. No, we've, we've got, we've, we probably got a little bit of time, so I can probably, I can probably do something else real quick here. Uh. Here, Sidewinder, let me give you a quick little... Shout out. Let me see if this works. There it goes. Oh, you were playing EVE Online, so how was your stream, Sidewinder? Thank you so much for the for the raid. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah, one more round around the block. One more run around the block. Yeah, yeah, we we I think we can do that. They just started they just announced the cluster shutdown like six minutes ago. Six, seven minutes ago. And they say they announce. When is it? Uh, da, 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 da. It was long. 
it was good and such, but it was long. What what were uh what were you um what were you doing in Eve? Were you just doing um Are you doing PvE, PvP stuff, exploration? Tourists. We got some tourists. Let's open this one up. I'm helping the tractor beam collect stuff. And Marines, okay. At an hour, hour, 15, five minutes. Okay, so they, they announced, so it's it's the hour block that they announced with. Okay, yeah, so we've got some time. I just don't want to, I just don't want to, like, cut it too close to, like, uh, the end to where we, we have some technical difficulties at the end or something like that. If you know what I mean. PvE was mostly hauling around and making some, uh, plants today. Oh, okay. Okay, you do, you do a lot more in, um, industrial, industry stuff. Because right now, I, I, I got into um, combat exploration, and so I do a lot of that. And I really enjoy that. Implants. Making implants. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That's good. I've I've done a little bit of, a little bit of um, mining and a tiny bit of industry stuff on my Minmatar character on stream. It's kind of a bit more um, generic, but okay. Yeah, occasionally I'll, I'll do like some quick building or whatever. Just been starting a bit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've been doing mostly combat exploration and Kind of playing around with building this, uh, building my fur ox here. Um, building it to kind of be a long range artillery shield tank, shield fortress, I think would be the technical term. Less less tank more fortress uh, most of the stuff for implant seems to be guy yeah, really hmm that's interesting I ha I have not uh, done a lot of the um, industry with like making like things like implants and stuff like that. I have a blueprint for, I think, a type of implant, but that might be it. But had some BPCs from loots. So wanted to make use. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I have a, I have, I think I have an implant that's a, a loot implant that I picked up and yeah, I thought about making it. I would need to do some like serious like I'm buying the um I need to do some serious buying of the uh buying um materials though cuz I don't think I'm going to go out and try to mine um some of the more rare materials on my own. Some of those can be quite good. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I that makes sense. at all that's everything isn't it okay not a lot of stuff there's a few good things in there most of it I'll probably end up Just saving for later especially the slot 6 Omega ones since they are always 
highest cost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's Omega, therefore... It ends up costing the most. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to get enough resources on my Minmatar character to build uh, a cup uh, a couple of um, like a rupture to build some ruptures and and stuff like that to to sell and have spares and stuff. Uh, also, seems implants get hurt less uh, when they touch industry. But I'm not that in the know. Interesting. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder why that's the case. Like, is it just something that's like, it's attracting more attention or whatever? It's gonna take a while to get to that tractor unit. Here, let's open cargo. Too far away. Ship is on automatic approach to cargo. Okay. This might take a while. I'm really liking this Farox build, though. Like, some of it I haven't really used yet, but so far it's been pretty good. Um, I do have a high power slot open, and I plan on in on installing a targeting computer. Um, I might replace the shield booster with the targeting computer. Uh, but we'll see at that point. We'll see. Because if I work with with a, with a buddy of mine, or we end up doing like some uh, help out a buddy of mine or whatever, uh, I'm going to need to relearn what is bad to build now. I looked at building a regular cruiser cost and uh, was close to close to or over by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've I've heard of like people having. Um, a few different builds. Um, certain builds, I guess, are considered more optimal builds. My build is um, is not considered optimal, I guess, because you because it's passive or active shield tank, and I kind of have a bit of both. So people are saying like, "Oh no, go go more." passive shield tank uh, or go more active shield tank or whatever it is um, but I wanted in I also needed to increase my targeting range because <laughs> my targeting range was trash the nice skins on the ferox if you like it enough if I remember your build is terrible you don't have tier 2 guns yeah I know I don't have tier 2 guns because I'm not uh, Omega That's why I don't have tier 2 guns, but uh, yeah, thank you. It's still playing tutorial, I guess. No, I mean, I'm an alpha. I'm just not, a, I'm not an Omega player. At some point, if I get enough, um, if I get enough income from like Twitch and, and YouTube and stuff like that, then may, maybe I might, I might uh, do the, do the Omega stuff and do some more of it. But, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. Okay, I should have all the stuff. So let me... I should probably sell this stuff first. All right, let me minimize this. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff over here. The drone assemblies I'm not going to worry about. 
a forlorn hideaway. We'll dock at this one. Web drive active. Might have access to tiers two skills as alpha for those weapons. Um, maybe if you're talking mastery. If you're talking mastery, I probably need need. I need to, there's some stuff I need to finish for, uh, for mastery stuff. Docking permission requested. Uh, but tier two, unless you're just talking skills and stuff. I don't know my laser dude, that was alpha. Docking request accepted. Are you doing like uh, specializations or whatever? Like medium artillery, auto cannon, beam, blaster, specializations and all that? Like railgun specializations? Because I could do special, because I can do the specializations and stuff. I guess just lost the Nurgle to the same NPC. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, just mean the skill for either specialization for that type. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Let me let me sell some stuff real quick. Or at least get some stuff out of my inventory. Let's get rid of all this. And this stuff, and I'm not sure the difference between these two, so okay, so that's a regular, so this is a regular medium remote shield compact, yes, and spec will give you tier two for that type. Ah, okay. Almost a bill down the drain. <laughs> now I'm broke again. Oh, I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. Even it at three for a spec is nice. Yeah, I mean, this, this character is, well, was having some financial issues. Now they're not. At least at the moment, so let me think here for a second. Okay, medium murky compact remote shield booster. Transfer shield power from aiding in its defense. Anomics seems very, very unforgiving. Hey, Dust Panzer, thanks for the 10 bits. Really appreciate it. Okay, optimal range is 5,000 meters. Shield bonus is 260. Thermodynamics level 1. Effectiveness fall off. 75,000. 7,500 meters, excuse me. Things I can remember me doing all those pretty easily in both ships sometimes. Anomic for the time being. Oh, okay. Same range. Shield bonus is 300 versus 260. Ah, oh, okay. So the 
medium murky compact shield booster would actually be the better one for the moment because it's 300 it's the same range and everything it's 300 activation cost 232 332 it's 300 tech level one meta level zero meta level one okay let's put the medium remote shield booster there Let's market details. Sell. Can't do immediate, so I'll do three months. Oops. I doubt I'll probably get a lot, but market details people are selling marines for five mil I'll do four mil add some competition Reprocess all of that. I'll need a transport and run it around to these different stations, picking up the tritanium and everything. Ah, uh, stack. I'll leave those there. I'll leave that there for now. All right, we'll close that. We'll close that. What's okay? So we still got about a thirty minutes. So let's undock. I do need to go to another area. Uh, I might not be able to do it on this stream or right at this very moment, but there is another area I want to. There's an area I need to go to to pick up the the tracking computer that I need. Although it's a small one, so I might need to find a bigger one. One for a medium ship. I don't need to do that. F12. Tracking computer. I'll have to think about that one. But anyway, yeah, so tracking computer. Check. Yep. Inventory's good. Ammo's good. Probe scanner. Let's go to this forlorn hideaway. We'll go within a hundred meters. Or a lot hundred kilometers. Grab this, grab this. Uh regional. Right now I'm using 250 rail guns. Oh yeah, they don't have the Omega mark on them. They're just tier twos. Requirements. Medium hybrid turret three. 
of hybrid five. Oh, I need hybrid five, hybrid five sharpshooter for specialization one. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could probably get the bigger ones at that point too. Ah, okay. You get to the 350. 352 and you need Omega. But I could get a 351. Oh, wait, no, that's those are large. Never mind. I'll just stick with the 252. 250 tier 2 then. That's fine. Oh, this is going to be fun. It's at 100 kilometers and it threw me out. A hundred and thirty kilometers out. I can't hit anything. Oh yeah, some tier two is Omega only. But not a lot as far as modules go. Okay, as far as modules go. That makes sense. Because like, getting into, if you get into like tier two ships, all of them are, are Omega. So I just kind of, I thought that all... Uh, tier that all tier two stuff was all um, alpha tier or, or tier two stuff was all omega tier and that alpha was everything else that was below tier two out oh, there Like propulsion modules, tier two ones are omega only. Ah, the more you know. All right, I'm going to wait till I'm about 95 kilometers out and then I'll drop my, my tractor unit. Prop modules for mid slots. That is. Ah, okay. So, the tracking computer normally isn't sized, right? Like, isn't limited by a size. But then I have this. An F12 enduring tracking computer, but it has the S next to it, which would say it's a small size. While Ice Harvester 1 is Omega. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird that way. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the, um, I think that's an implant. Mid-grade Hydra Delta Blueprint. Because it, it, it's, I, I think that's an implant, isn't it? It looks like it is. It's a faction implant or something. Hydra is a good one. Yeah, so that was one that I picked up on doing one of these missions or whatever should be a size should be one size fits all on those okay yeah it just has like an s next to it for some reason i have no idea why so it has like there's the size module and then there's the s next to it but then you look up look stuff up on the market and it's like oh, okay no it's one size it's they're all one size so got me a little confused that's all All right, thanks, thanks for uh, helping clear that up.
I'm sorry, I was muted this entire time. Um. Use an investment to make. I always made money on the set implant blueprints. Okay. So for the, uh, for the, I forgot if deltas, so for deltas, are you talking about, um, like blueprints for like implants? Is that what you're talking about? Sorry, cause I, there, I was trying to manage, I was managing two conversations at one point, And so I, I think I got confused. From millions to hundreds of millions range is pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big. That is a pretty big. Uh, that is so, that is huge, huge change, huge difference. Uh, basic way to check is find in contracts and is uh, and use an industry or use blueprint to see how it goes. Oh, okay. I'm just peppering this uh, this cruiser here. A module has run out of charges. Okay, that's good to know. Well. I have to find that out when we look at him. I don't know if I don't think I can build the uh, the implant, but I haven't really looked at it either. We have the drone circling, just waiting for something to sh for something to go after. Drilling implants seem worth making, just requires investment and time. I had to cut it off at three for now. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Oh, here comes some more. And the drones are off. Probably will take them out too quick. Five. You got two destroyers and three cruisers. Well, let's take out the destroyers. real quick you know I'm learning a lot from the uh, industry from from a lot of the industry side of it from you sidewinder and uh, from from you fairy noir so thank you thank you very much for uh, for that conversation that's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn from uh, from all this so uh, the Eve online and everything you're not using all your weapons that's a good question so these two weapons are set to right now using iron charges so they're using kind of longer range 95 kilometer range the third one is using antimatter charges which has a shorter range so when they get closer then i'll be um then i can i can use the third set but when they're at when they're further out, I'll just use like one or two sets. Yeah. No, good question though. Good question though. I really appreciate it. Uh, I need to sh focus fire on somebody. 
to do any significant damage to the cruisers. I could probably poke one of these cruisers completely out before the other one gets to me. At least that's what I'm looking at right now. There, that one goes. This one, this cruiser is gonna need to take the third rail gun here. I'm just glad that right now I'm still like way out of range for these guys. I just reload this one. We'll see if we get more waves or not. Ah, here we go. We have a third wave. I think it's a third wave. Three, four, five, six. Five cruisers and one of these guys. One frigate. Let's try to hit the guy that's closest. Your frigate's not going to take that much. It's not going to have to take both sets of railguns to take out, so let's reload the rest. He's going to get in a firing range here pretty soon. Oh, nice. All right, next closest is this guy. Here, we'll take a moment and just reload everybody. 
as we've got a second. Pressure shut down. That would be the 15 minute warning. Solid. I guess the five minutes I think we'll probably work on closing up shop here. Oh yeah, he's getting everything. He's getting my drones, he's getting all three guns firing. Feel a thing. They're missing. Got him. That it? That is it. Recall the drones. And while this guy's been busy, what are you holding on to? Oh, very interesting. We'll wait for a few minutes here.
Anyway. So yeah, that was pretty good. I bet if we get, when I get the targeting computer installed, um, I'll probably get rid, I'll probably erase, well, I'll probably, um, remove the medium shield booster for now and go more pure, um, passive shields. Go, well, go more passive shield boost or shield extension, so more shields. Uh, and I bet if I do that... Um, with, and then have the targeting computer, that'll probably actually help with, um, increasing range for all my weapons. And then I should be able to even use the antimatter charge pretty easily. I might get a, um, a range extender script to add to the, um, to the targeting computer that way it will go further it will go even further out for all of them so hopefully that will mean that the antimatter charge rail guns will be able to shoot out to around i probably would say around 70 kilometers while the while iron or something like that would shoot out to about 130 kilometers plus just a rough estimation i don't i don't know entirely how it would how it would affect it it could be bigger than that it could be smaller than that a shield fortress here that we've got going on it's gonna hit 55 here in just a minute in just a bit so We'll be ready. Hey Zartan, uh, what which level missions are you running? Level three. Um, I'm doing more combat exploration right now, so not really official uh, mission levels, but it probably is around a level three. I don't know. Oh yeah, good good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're having a, I hope you're having a good morning wherever you are in the world. Are you doing open combat? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing combat anomalies, open combat anomalies. Ooh, I found a thing. A cargo scanner. Oh, I do have these energy things, but they're only smalls. They're not medium or any other... So it's, unless they're like one of those ones where it's like it doesn't really matter. Let's find out. Let's find out if it's a size thing. Uh, what is it? It's N O S F E R A T U. Okay, so it is, so you do have medium and you do have sizes. Okay. I wanted to check. 
All right, that would be every single one of them. So, let's loot. Got a lot of stuff on that. And scoop to the cargo hold. Anticipating a chance to attend the final Sanchez incursion boss fleet today. Oh, that'll be exciting. I wish you luck. Four minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, thank you for that. I needed that. I need to find there. Go. Warp drive active. We got some special fleet light missiles. A lot of them. We got some cargo scanners. Some other capacitor things we've got a warp scrambler we've got some metal scraps that we'll probably salvage some light ammunition that'll be fun docking permission requested docking request accepted I'm about to wrap up the stream here. Because we've got about three minutes. That's fine. Let's claim. Go here. Current station. Some kind of destroyer kill skill crate. For a gallant for a gallant destroyer. That's fine. Sounds good to me. Close that. Uh, we can look at that later. If I don't fall asleep first. <laughs> yep, that makes sense to me. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it end it here. EVE Online says that we have three minutes before they, they restart their servers for restart their servers. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, kind of experimenting with this new, this new build. Anyway, if you guys, uh, liked it, please make sure that you guys follow and please make sure that, uh, you check out the about page for my other links, like my Twitter, my YouTube and my VODs channels, as well as my new TikTok channel as well. Go ahead and check those out. Thank you guys so much. I think we will raid out. Uh, let's raid out to, since EVE Online is closing out, let's raid out to... I'm going to raid out to Wasted Space. Great stream, thanks. Hey, yeah, Das Panzer, thank you very much as well. I really appreciate it. Let's raid out to... Let's raid out to a, a streamer called Wasted Space. He is a fantastic streamer, um, fantastic YouTuber. He does a lot of different games and stuff like that. He is currently streaming Control. So let him know that we're sending, him, sending you guys his way. And please enjoy. Make sure that you give him a follow and your support and love. Thank you very much.